What is going on, I've Warriors? It's your boy Edward V, and today we're going to talk about four biggest mistakes that people are making when incorporating the OMAD diet, the one meal a day diet. Now this is one of the more popular protocols to utilize when doing intermittent fasting, but some people hold themselves back or don't understand what's going on when they're not doing it right or they're not in that groove. And I'm gonna tackle the top four mistakes that people are making when they start their OMAD journey. Stay tuned. Okay guys, really, really quick, two things before I start the video. Number one, have you guys seen the new logo? Yeah, Fledge Fitness, that's supposed to be an F right here and an F looking that way. It has that warrior tribal kind of look and feel to it. And also it kind of looks like a warrior's mask at the same time if you look really closely. Let me just, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You can see you can see what I'm talking about a little bit. All right. Well, anyways, just to let you know, this was done by a guy named Arno Claude, and he's a European guy. He just reached out to me, and he he was very creative about it. He did a post on his Instagram. He was very very persistent trying to get my attention, and he's a great graphic designer. He created this logo for me, the logo that I fell in love with uh, so much so that I asked him, "Hey, can you uh, do my channel art?" And he went ahead and did my channel art. It was amazing. So I don't want to talk too much on this. I want to go ahead. And and link him down in the description below if you want any type of graphic design if you have any type of business or brand that you want to give it a little oomph designs like these really sleek really unique and final thing new clothing i rehashed the entire store my entire teespring store so you can look at all of these here and the leggings for women i completely designed them myself i call it the fledge fitness fuel fast focus firebird leggings the f6 and look at these babies come on tell me these aren't fire tell me these aren't fire with the firebird wrapping around the leg i have it in two different color schemes the fuel fast focus right on the uh, left calf this is an awesome way to represent the fasting culture while being subtle and having such a cool design on your leg i'm actually the most proud of myself for creating this thing and it took me a long time trust me so of course i'm going to have the shop shelf right on the bottom of this video if you're on mobile i haven't really seen it pop up if you're on your desktop if you're on mobile you'll see it right in the bottom Bottom, just click shop you can get any of the leggings any of the new shirts with the new logo and also if you can't find it there it will definitely be in my description now I'm so sorry that I took away so much time just to promote some of that stuff and to give a shout out to Arnold but I'm really passionate about both of those things so I wanted to talk about it now let's move into this video okay the first problem that a lot of people do when they do the OMAD diet is they, they don't create a range of eating and it, this goes both ways uh, some people just eat one meal a day and don't even think about it uh, but the problem is you reduce yourself from doing a 23 hour fast if for example you decide that you want to eat at nine o'clock one day and then the next day you decide you want to eat at two o'clock technically you are eating once a day but that inconsistency may go against you uh, when you want to try to keep your insulin down as long as you can every day consistently so that you can feel that effective body fat burning remember it still takes 3,500 calories or so to get all of that body fat out and then it's not one for one because the calories are doing different things calories are glycogen calories are muscle so it's not one for one what you want to do is you want to make it as potent as possible and try to make sure that you're constantly pushing that fat out burning that fat turning the white adipose fat tissue to the brown adipose fat tissue so that you're constantly burning and yes this happens when you do intermittent fasting so the longer you fast on a consistent basis the better it is for you so try to pick a range and the reason I say a range and not like a specific hour and even I used to say you should pick a specific hour but the mental aspect has to be taken into account you need that flexibility of a range you could call it the war mad you could call it whatever you want but when you give yourself a range of about four hours six hours to simply eat once a day it'll be better for you because you have that flexibility yet you are still just doing that one meal so you're basically clicking on all cylinders psychologically and in terms of your hormone with your insulin sensitivity being at its top peak and let's move on to the next mistake that a lot of people do when they go into OMAD is expecting amazing results fast the thing is you're not going to be like everyone else and I've noticed this a lot in the comment section are some people are super excited about what they're seeing and others are just so sad because they feel that they're missing out there's something that they're not doing right that someone else is doing wrong or maybe they're just doomed to fail 
forever. And that's not the case. People are different. And not just people are different in terms of weight loss, in terms of overall mass reduction, but simply through hormonal things and even retention of water. You have to understand that those things can skew your perception of what's truly going on. Some people enter OMAD right away and because you're not eating so much, you are not taking in so much salt, you're not retaining so much food, and you might be drinking a lot of water because you're not eating so much. So you release a lot of water in your body and then presto, you've lost a lot of weight on the scale. Have you lost body fat though? probably not considering that you still need that caloric deficit for your body fat but rest assured intermittent fasting is the best platform to do it and OMAD is probably the best platform for you to use so because you're fasting for so long and because you're only eating one time a day it is very easy for you to fall into that trap to think you're automatically just gonna kill it on the first week or the first month and when you don't see that it really, really makes you depressed. So what I'm trying to tell you here, what I'm trying to convey through this screen is that please try to stick to it because not everyone's the same. Don't look over to your left and your right and see what's happening for them and think that you're suffering when they can be losing weight very quickly in the beginning and then come to a stall because a lot of that was water weight being flushed out, et cetera, et cetera. And then you start hitting your wish effect and then you start becoming much more motivated while they they're now stuck as some type of a number. So put blinders on, work on yourself, think about what you're doing. Understand that yes, if there's a long time where things aren't moving, maybe there's some adjustments that need to be made, but don't think that because in the first day or two or three or week, you're not seeing the weight loss that you thought you would be seeing, that you're doing something completely wrong. Basically, don't expect amazing results simply because you're doing a 23 hour fast. Still try to be realistic, and you will never be disappointed. The third mistake that people are making when entering the OMAD protocol is they eat a lot of junk food. Now let's be real, a lot of people wanna do intermittent fasting because it's so liberating in terms of not having to focus on food. And I'm not saying that you have to fully focus on the food and just pay attention and razor sharp and know every single macronutrient and calorie that goes into your food. However, you do wanna always kinda of be in the ballpark of what you're eating. At least so you know that you're somewhat at a caloric deficit or somewhat at a caloric surplus. But when you eat junk food, what does junk food normally entail? Carbs and sugar. Those are the two enemies of insulin sensitivity and intermittent fasting is there for you to reduce your insulin to baseline. So when you then start eating a lot of junk food, you are fighting against that biology where you're trying to train your body to keep the insulin low. That's why you go to the gym, that's why you work out, that's why you do cardiovascular stuff. And when you do one thing that helps you do that and then do something that's catastrophically juxtaposed to what you were doing, that's not gonna help you in the long run. You might lose some body weight in the beginning, but it's not a good habit to take up because when you hit that plateau wall, those things are gonna be hard for you to shift away from and get more focused so that you can break through and get to that very low body fat percentage if that's the body that you're looking for. So it doesn't have to be the most healthiest things in the world, but please don't let it be junk food. Maybe every once in a while, but make those the exception, not the rule. And the other thing is a lot of people do the OMAD diet. A lot of people see a lot of success, so they get complacent. And when their goals change for fitness, they don't change what they're doing when they're doing OMAD. See, if you want to lose weight, that's one thing. But then if you want to build muscle, that's something completely different. So if you only eat this one plate of food and it helped you lose weight and you think that, oh, now I'm gonna try to go build muscle with this one plate of food, it's not gonna work like that. If you didn't count those calories and those calories just happened to be a deficit, it worked for you. But if you want to build muscle, going to the gym and being at a caloric deficit and trying to build muscle where you already reached the body fat percentage that you wanted to reach or you got to a body fat percentage that you're happy with is not going to help you. Don't be scared to eat one plate of food and then when your goals change, have multiple plates on your table. Yes, that is still one meal a day because you're eating all of that in one sitting. Normal biology will still be at play regardless of doing intermittent fasting or not. So you still need to be cognizant of that. And if you want to build muscle, you have to increase how much you're eating. And if you want to lose weight or lose body fat, you have to decrease the amount that you're eating. Create the deficit, allow intermittent fasting to bring down your insulin so that it targets fat more than it targets anything else. And then you'll be 
better off. Those are the top four biggest mistakes that I see a lot of people making when they do OMAD and I hope that this video helps you clean up some of those mistakes so that you can see much more success while utilizing the OMAD protocol. And I just want to show this one more time. How awesome is that? I'm, I'm sorry, this is just amazing design done by your boy Edward V. And of course I want to thank my patrons from my Patreon and I'm going to put their names right up here. And of course, IF Warriors, you know the drill. I will see you on Wednesday. Peace!